How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. You are welcome here. You want me? Right. What is it this? It shall be as you wish. but to ask. Yes? I shall attend to it in a trice. It shall be as you wish. What is it this? I shall attend to it in a trice. Yes, I shall attend to it in a trice. as you wish.
Sweetheart? How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a trice. What is it this time? You have but to ask. Yes? It shall be as you wish. How may I? You have but to ask. believe this doppelganger, do you? This time, it shall be as you wish. Yes, you have but to ask. It shall be as you wish. After Serebuk's defeat, I had hoped for peace, but it was not to be. A Kalashite monk once told me, every night is dawn's herald. The trick is to hold on to the memory of light, as pleasant as it is to speak with you. Oh, if you do venture into the city, be sure to take Captain Corwin with you. A talented officer, that one should take care of. Shall be as you wish. to ask.
Gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You have but to ask. Good to give a little tip. You have but to ask. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Whatever thy wills. What is it this? It shall be as you wish. Yes? It shall be as you wish. You have but to ask. You have but to ask. But to ask. It shall be as you wish. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison, if you want to speak with her. Just remember, once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. Yes? It shall be as you wish. You have but to ask. How may I, I shall attend to it? So with this her. is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. It is everything. Who and what you are is more important to me than you could possibly understand. Yet. Hmm. Strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. 
one you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity. But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. I... Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. You don't know him? He said he was a friend of yours. We've known some pretty strange characters, so I didn't think it was weird to have someone pop in looking for you. Forget about him. We need to talk about your going to battle the Crusade. I know you think you have to do this, but I am telling you, you don't. Not only do you not have to do it, you shouldn't. I'm healing, but you need to heal too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars, but in coming to terms with, you know, what you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady, please. I'd have you tell the city to take a long walk off a short pier, that's why I'd have you do. But you won't, will you? I know that look in your eyes. I'm wasting my breath. Promise me you'll be careful, all right? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Together. He and I made love under the moonlight and extorted gold from Daddy, and then Eldoth left me for some harlot. I wanted to talk to you before we left for Dragon Spear. I've joined the Flaming Fist! Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life, and also get out of this dirty old city, and maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. I know! All right, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. Here is the hero, raring and ready to go. The early bird catches the what evil is it worm. This time? <laughs> I should tend to right the trot. You have but to ask. I hear.
Yes? I shall attend to it in a trice. I shall attend to it in a trice. Ah, the hero arrives. I hope you slept well. You have a long road ahead. Our prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. The Fleming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corbin and Corporal Duncan. I'm sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? At Dragonspear Castle, you'll rendezvous with troops from Waterdeep and Daggerford and bring an end to Kalar Argent's crusade, one way or another. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? May the gods look upon you with favor. You'd better get moving, unless there was something else. Let me guess. Skis joins the Flaming Fist and plans to journey north with you. Your complaints will fall on deaf ears. My orders are clear. She is to be treated as any other member of the Fist. I love my Ski, but I have overindulged her. It is a hard world, and it is best time she learns that. Though I like it not, it is my hope this will prove a learning experience for her. That service to the Fleming Fist will strengthen her body, mind, and character. Perhaps Captain Corwin might serve as a role model for her. My son is dead. Ski will inherit the Silver Shield name and all that comes with it. I have to believe she will be ready for the responsibility when the time comes. I appreciate your coming to me with your concerns about Ski. Please accept this ring as a token of my gratitude. When her brother died, Ski changed. She got wilder, pushed me away. I am hopeful this experience will help change her priorities. One other thing. Few of those traveling with you will know Ski's true identity. She is to receive no special treatment from the Fleming Fist. You, however, know exactly who she is. I expect my daughter return to me alive and unharmed. I am understood, I trust. Good. Speak with Captain Corwin by the main doors, and be on your guard. The trip north will likely hold dangers besides the crusade. Just good fortune in our travels, Boo.
So this is the great Fildurkin hero of Baldur's Gate, eh? Doesn't look like much to me. How much longer must we wait? Crowds are fickle things. I know too well what can happen when moods turn sour. What's this now? Hardrow knows the hero of Baldur's Gate? We're all here for the same reason. The Council put the world out looking for those ready to fight against this Kalar, and we are always ready for a fight. You like the taste of teeth, do ye? You? You're this close to eating yours. Get out of my face now before yours gets broke. This and that to be done, no time to stay in chatter. This is my daughter, Roma. Let Minsk take care of this little girl. In this world, there are many pirates, some good bats, and those who shall be honored. Some bats, however. Since such is this obvious left to the James Mother of Minsk, what do they have to Exactly like that. Ready to leave the city. As you wish. We're more than mercenaries. There you are. The caravans at the palace gate. We're ready to head to Dragonspear if you are. Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. 
Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. This group shows promise. Extraordinary. How may I be of assistance? What is it this time? You have but to ask. I am Zena, faithful of Tempus. Praise be to the Lord of Battles. By demand? Yes? I shall attend to it in a Cap trot. set. Watch us too. We've been marching hard, covered a lot of ground, but we've still a ways to go. Everyone could use a rest, yourself included. Tonight might be the last full night's sleep we get. We'll be in Crusader territory after we cross the bridge.
Yes? How may I be of... I shall attend to it in a trice. Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, excuse me, I've got to go. I'd like to know that myself. I don't recognize you, Gnome. Who are you? My name! Oh, right, right, my name! I'm Glint. Glint, Three Eyes Gardener Sensor. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. Yes, an old nickname. That's how many eyes Mom said she had to keep on me to make sure I stayed out of trouble. Turns out she really needed four eyes, but that... that's a long story. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, yes, join you. I can do that. What is it? I shall attend to it in a trunk. You call? on its stomach. Yes, it shall be as you wish. How may I be of assistance? You have but to ask. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. I need a sweet or some strong dwarven thing. 